Alright, this is Projector Dude. This is a video demo. This is the uh, NEC. This is the uh, Ultra Short Pro U300X. Uh, you put this around four feet away to get out. This is a 110 inch pick. Now, this is on my ultra widescreen. It's got a great pick yeah, for, for a cheap projector. Uh, I sell these for about $150. I get them dirt cheap. The, I buy in quantities from schools and recyclers. This is very watchable. It has uh, a loud, you're listening to the speaker right now, and it's turned down, it's, it gets loud. The projector itself makes no noise at all. This is on high lamp. It gets 4,000 in high lamp. This has 800 hours on it. And uh, you'll get 4,000 in high lamp. And lamps for this are dirt cheap. So everywhere, but these are very popular projectors. All the schools have them. So you can get an OEM lamp for like 50 bucks. A uh, generic for 20, but I don't recommend a generic. Uh, I just plug in the HDMI. Uh, if you want to use a soundbar, there is an audio out jack that's a mini jack that you just plug in and then plug in your soundbar. When you plug it in, the sound goes off of the speaker and it's variable, so you can just use the remote to uh, turn the volume up and down in case of the soundbar. Yeah, this has a bunch of different aspect ratios. The color is really good. Uh, I mean, this is a great alternative to a cheap Chinese LED projector with a single panel. That, you know, you can't even see those things. They say they're 6,000 lumens. Uh, this is 3,000 lumens, and it is really, it's, it's bright. It's the room's fairly well lit up here. And you can have lights on with this. It doesn't really affect it all that much. Um, here's the projector itself. Like I say, this is XTA. This is 1024 uh, by 768. So what it does is it scales. But you really, it does have a pixel grid, but not much. Oh uh, no, this is its big brother here. This is the widescreen version. This is a U310W. That's a widescreen. That's made of. Uh, 1610, 1280 by 768. So it does uh, the same picture and it does a little bit better. But the advantage of these things is you can put these like in a room and all the audience is sitting behind them. You can mount these to the ceiling quite easily. Um, if you're in a market for a cheap projector that's an easy install, this is definitely the way to go. Because most projectors, what you're going to run into is people are going to want to put like an Epson projector in the back of the room. And they don't realize that they have to flip the uh, projector upside down. Or it's going to be shooting up into the ceiling. So basically, with most projectors, cheaper projectors that don't have lens shift, you have no alternative but to flip it upside down if you put it up high in the back of the room so people aren't hitting the beam. Or you have to use a bunch of keystone and tilt the projector down, and it really messes with the resolution. Um, oh, let's take a look at the controls over here. You can run this uh, also, it runs off of any of the uh, universal, better universal remotes. But I'm talking, you know, like Harmonies, not the cheap ones you buy at Walmart for eight bucks. You need a Harmony 350 or, or up. Like I say, it has a bunch of, bunch of controls. It's really easy to set up. Responses that I've gotten is, is that there isn't enough money, or try back again, maybe some additional funding will become And it gets loud. I mean, it's amazing. It'll fill the room with sound. You really don't even need a sound bar with it. Uh, but this has been Projector Dude. This has been the uh, NEC U300X.